MQTT QoS quality of service levels promise bulletproof reliability. But guess what? They're basically a lie. I spent over 80 hours picking apart every angle of MQTT QoS, and it's shocking how often it fails in the real world. And in just under a minute, I'm about to expose MQTT's biggest myth. So, quality of service, zero, one, or two, only protect the path between a device and the broker, the single broker. It says nothing about end-to-end -end reliability across multiple brokers or even multiple data op steps. Plus, MQTT has a built-in limit of around 65,000 in-flight messages per client broker connection. So, if you're sending 1,000 messages per second and you hit a 70 seconds network disruption, you blow past that limit. Poof, your data is gone. In practice, many brokers set the cap way lower than a 1,000 message queue. So if the broker hits that overload protection, it just drops your data. And if you start doing some multi-hop bridging or multi-step transformations, what you would do in data ops, your chances of duplicate messages or total data loss skyrockets. And don't even get me started on quality of service two exactly once. It is practically impossible. So if you need truly guaranteed delivery, MQTT's built-in QoS can't deliver. Let me know your thoughts below and check out my article below for more background and a deeper fix.